Almost 10 months now since Hurricane Harvey and school administrators in a growing disagreement with Texas Education Commissioner Mike Morath. He wants to let some campuses slide on their annual state ratings only if they meet certain criteria like having up to 10% of displaced students. But school administrators say wave ratings for all campuses in the disaster area because of the distraction that Hurricane Harvey brought. Ross Ramsey is a co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune in Austin for us. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning, how are you? We're doing well, you know, st uh, schools are telling the commissioner to back off here. Is this something that the governor might get involved in? It's something he could get involved in. You know, Mike Morath, the TEA commissioner, basically works for the governor. And what they're trying to decide is whether to release schools that were affected by Hurricane Harvey from the rating system. The schools are saying our students were displaced. In cases where they weren't displaced, they were completely distracted. It's going to mess with their abilities on these tests, and the schools are going to get basically rated low because they got a storm. We're also going to ask about another story that you uh, reported on in the trip. The race for Senate, U.S. Senate, is getting personal. Ted Cruz going after Beto O'Rourke's mom for a, a conviction she had, what, five years ago, eight years ago, I think, on tax fraud? She had a business in El Paso that got behind on taxes, uh, got charged by the state, a serious uh, number of fines. I don't have the number at hand, but it was a serious tax fraud fine, and he's pinging Beto O'Rourke for having a mom who did that while O'Rourke is talking about uh, interstate taxes. So uh, I think it's going to be a personal race from here on out. And likely to be a long summer as well, Ross. Probably so. I got you. Back to you in just a moment, Ross. Thank you.